Man, devil went down to Georgia, and he also came to the gym and sucked my soul out of my body while I was on the Stairmaster. <laughs> that was so intense. Oh my gosh. Why is the Stairmaster so hard? I, I swear, you put anything on stairs. Oh my gosh. That was so hard. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Exhausted. Just done. Done. I was sweat so hard on the Stairmaster. I don't know what it is about it. You don't even have to go fast. You just on there step after step and you're sweating your brains out. I mean <sighs> sweating. So I want to talk to you guys about expectation. Because right now, I'm seeing all over Pinterest, all over social, all over everywhere, these challenges. Um, usually, they're squat challenges, push-up challenges, everything. Um, and they are usually accompanied, at least for women anyway, they market these things towards women. They will throw up, a like if it's a squat challenge, for example... There's usually a photo of a woman who, like a fitness model, that has a perfect butt. Beautiful legs, lean, the whole nine. And what it does is it perpetuates this message that, oh, if I do this squat challenge after 30 days, I'm going to look like that. My butt's going to look like that. I hate to be the bearer of bad news or to bring disappointment, but guys... That kind of stuff doesn't work. And I know that y'all, some of y'all are probably like, Kelly, we know, we know. But also there are some people that don't know. There are people who go on these fad diets. They wrap their midsection in cellophane or wrap or whatever. What do you call it? Uh, I can't speak. I'm like my brain from that Stairmaster. Saran wrap. That's what I was going for. Wrap their midsection in saran wrap, and they're supposed to drink a bunch of water and whatever else is involved in that. I've Whatever. That's a topic for another day. And then they show these before and after pictures, and people buy that stuff and think that that is causing permanent change in your body. The only thing that is going to cause permanent change in your body is the reduction of body fat. How do you lose body fat? Consistent application of diet and exercise. That is it. The end forever and ever. Amen. How do you reduce body fat? You eat a diet. If you have excess body fat to lose, you reduce your calories. Don't reduce them down so far. You want a slight deficit. Then you want to exercise, excuse me, you want to exercise hard enough that you keep your heart rate up and you're exhaling because body fat is a molecule. There's a chemical process that happens when you're exercising and your heart rate is pumping a lot of blood on, and you know, you're working out, you're exhaling. Fat is released through breath. Okay. So you can't just necessarily sit there and like, <sighs> like not doing anything and just do that and expect to lose body fat. I'm sure maybe there's some chemical process happening, but you know, when you, if you think about losing body fat, losing weight, where does that weight go? It leaves the body somehow. We have thought before it exits through our waist. Um, that's, you know, I'm sure there's probably some of that there, but your body is metabolizing all that stuff and it is released through the body basically through your breath. So this is why if we want to lose fat, they explain that cardiovascular exercise, often we see a quicker, you'll start to see the body fat drop with the application of cardiovascular exercise. Um, you can also obtain that through lifting heavy weights to increase muscle mass, which will elevate the metabolism, which causes you to burn calories at a more rapid rate pace. So you can be at rest and you're going to be burning more calories than someone who has a lower metabolism or a lower muscle mass. That's how that works. So all these things, you know, 
you want to engage in those challenges. They're great. I think they're wonderful. Um, body weight squats alone are not going to help you achieve the butt of the fitness model that you're looking at. Not for the average person, especially if you have excess body fat to lose. It's going to take time. In 30 days, you're, you're not going to see a humongous difference. In three months, you will see a big change, but in 30 days, you're going to see a little bit of a change. Maybe a little, it'll look a little firmer, um, but I just don't want people to buy into these, these lies that they're out there. Marketing is amazing. Photoshop is real. There are very gifted people with Photoshop that they can make a before and after picture that was taken the very same day, even within hours apart, um, to make somebody look one, you know, one way or another. The way you stand, the way you, um, the clothing you wear, even down to how much, you know, you can, you could, I mean, if you've had a cheat meal and it contained a lot of sodium and whatever else, I mean, your body's going to retain that fluid. It's going to make you look puffier, and then when you're able to get rid of that, it's going to come back down. It's going to look like you've lost some weight. So when you guys are out there on the interwebs taking a look at all this stuff out there, have put on your I'm skeptical spectacles and just assume that everybody's lying to you with all those things because the only thing that is going to help you achieve total body transformation is the consistent application of diet and exercise over a long period of time. It is not going to happen overnight. It's not. It's not. And I'm sorry. I wish that the, I wish the opposite were true, but you got to get in your mind if it was that easy. Why are we not all walking around looking like Giselle? Honestly, if it were that easy. So keep that in mind, especially going into the new year. Uh, desperation can make you do a lot of things. So talk yourself down off the ledge. And if you need somebody to help you out, reach out to me. Um, I get friends all the time that ask me my opinion on stuff. I'm happy to give you my opinion on stuff. I am certainly no expert in it, but I love research. Let me research it for you. I can give you the ins and outs and the, the pros and the cons of different things. Um, if it's crazy talk, I'm going to tell you that it's crazy talk. Um, but hopefully I'm going to be able to save you a little bit of money. Um, but that is what I do for a living, research, basically. I mean, it's in a different arena, but I um, I love research. I like getting down to the bottom of stuff. I'm a very skeptical person, so feel free. Yo's me. Y'all have a great day. Peace out.